Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Bam Bam Print. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be showing you how to start your first print straight from the printer using the included micro USB card. This is going to be a very basic tutorial and is geared towards someone that has never printed before. In this tutorial, we will cover how to load your green PLA that was included with your printer purchase, how to start a print from the printer control panel screen, and then what the heck is a printer poop? Again, this is a very basic get started tutorial, so I hope you enjoy it. Today we're gonna to be doing a print from our brand new P1S. We literally just updated the firmware. You can see a full unboxing and setup video in the description below. So now we're going to print straight from the micro USB card. The first thing we need to do is load the green PLA. To do that, we're gonna go into the feeding menu, and then we need to tell it to load the PLA. It's going to move around a little bit and heat up the extruder nozzle. Now I'm going to open up the package and install it right in the back through the white Bowden tube that sticks out through the back of the printer. Once the nozzle hits about 245, it'll do a perimeter sweep again and it's time to load the PLA. We're going to drop the spool right on the back handle and we're going to load it from the left to the right, it's going to be a clockwise motion going up into the, into the Bowden tube. You can see it loading right here, all the way through. There's a sensor in there. Once it gets to it, you'll feel the, you'll feel the nozzle pull the PLA from your fingers slowly. Now on the front, on the control panel, it'll ask you if it was successful, just click done. Then the nozzle will purge the filament through it, as you can see right here. And now it's doing a nozzle wipe. Okay, we're ready to move on to the next step. But first, I've got a quick tip. Don't ever stick your hand in here while it's printing. You're never going to be faster than it, trust me. All right, now the PLA is loaded. Going to go over to the left-hand side menu all the way at the bottom, and we're going to print the scraper. I've actually not printed this yet. Bamboo Studio includes the scraper kit with your printer, so I definitely suggest utilizing it it will be an essential tool that you're going to use all the time. Plus, you can go on their website and purchase more scraper kits if you needed. All right, so once you're on the print screen, it's going to show you the date and the time. Go ahead and click print. All right, the bed will start to heat up. We have the bed temperature here, the extruder nozzle temperature here, the print time, the rocket little icon is the speed that it's running at, the camera blinking is saying that it's recording the time lapse, you got your Wi-Fi signal there. All right, so the nozzle's heating up. The bed will take a lot longer to heat up than the nozzle, so you'll be waiting on the bed to heat up. As soon as the bed is getting closer to 55 degrees, the nozzle will start heating back up as well. All right, the bed is now heated up. Now the nozzle is going to start heating up. Now you're going to see a change in the maximum temperature for the extruder nozzle from 220 to 250. This is the G code in the 3D print file taking over and basically telling the printer that these are the temperature parameters that were set in the file and calibrated directly for the included PLA. When you start using your own filament in different brands, you're going to need to calibrate and set up your own presets for that particular filament. That's a more advanced feature than we're going to cover in this tutorial. You probably saw that PLA get purged and disappear down and through the back. If you're wondering where that went, let me show you. Fell straight out of the back. Came right out of what everybody calls the poop chute. That's what this bucket is for. It catches all the printer poops. 
So it comes out of that hole right there in the back. If you don't have a bucket in place, then it's just going to fall right here on the table like that. So I definitely recommend one of the first things you print is one of these. There's literally a hundred different designs that you can print off of Maker World. Actually, I'm going to move it over here and it's probably going to fit on this, on this other printer. Well, it's definitely going to work over here for a little while. It's going to hang off the table for a little bit until I get these printers situated. So basically what happens, you put this bucket here and the printer poops will drop straight into the bucket. Now the printer's going through the leveling process. It's going to tap about 30 different spots and level out the bed. Let's go ahead and let it do its thing and we'll come back after it's done with its print. All right, the print has started and I'll come back when it's complete. The print is completed and as you can see, I ended up printing three of these scrapers. I recently switched to using almost 100% PETG filament for more durability with my prints. PETG tends to stick to my gold texture plate quite a bit, so these were a needed print. The kit from Bamboo Labs comes with a blade, screws, and magnet for the backside of the scraper holder. You should have received one with your printer purchase. You can also buy more from their store and I'll put a link in the description. All right, that concludes this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful and that you were able to get a little more understanding of the print process. Shoot me a comment below and tell me what your first print was on your bamboo printer. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of my content. Have a great day and happy printing.